Bruce here with Lubrication Technologies. Today we're going to go over the refilling of our lubrication pumps with our optional 35 pound pail setup uh, and cam lock assembly. Uh, the cam lock assembly on the bucket pumps comes with a six foot hose, the filling device for the bucket and the dust plug for the cam lock assembly to keep any contamination out. The cam lock just simply connects to the pump, uh, so the female is mounted on the bucket pump. We're going to take our female end and connect it to the male end, which is mounted on the pump. The pump side has a protection ring to keep the uh, cam lock cover from accidentally coming off. You just need to remove that ring, remove our dust cover, and just make our cam lock assembly connection. Want to make sure both ears are pushed in so we have a positive connection. Uh, we would actually prefer that the pump is running while filling. This happens to be an Elgin sweeper. Uh, Elgin sweepers are set up for pre-lube. If you simply turn the ignition on and turn it into sweep mode, uh, the pump will start running. Uh, if yours is not a sweeper and you do not have the pre-lube set up on your machine, you simply can remove our timer cover here with the ignition set up on. And while the pump has power, right now we're in delay mode, we can simply press the M and start a cycle. And now we're ready to go ahead and pump lubricant into the pump. Just paying careful attention not to overfill. Note there is a max and a midline. Uh, you really want to keep the lubricant just below the max line. You don't want it touching the top of the reservoir. We'll simply just fill from here. With the pump running, this will prevent any air pockets or cavitation from happening. Uh, filling of the reservoir really depends on how tall the pump is. This happens to be a four liter. Uh, so I'd say probably a couple minutes of pumping, you should have this device full. Uh, we also offer a 2 liter version of this pump and an 8 liter, so obviously the 8 liter, eight liter would take more time. To disconnect the cam lock, you simply want to remove your two wing clips, remove your cam lock assembly. Always remember, we want to reinstall our dust cap on the pump side. Important. You also want to reinstall your clips and make sure that the dust cap cannot accidentally come off. And then on the pump side, there's a dust cover as well. Same concept, simply just reinsert the dust plug into the female end and tighten down your two side wings.